that the defense could easily run them down and try and run something in system if possible. But those are just as important. You just don't want to give teams an opportunity to just swing away. That experience that you're going to have in, in knowing the capabilities that you can build as a team is almost priceless. We had a chance. Had a great night. Michelle Sickner, uh, Ashley Jansen, everyone was getting underneath and popping those up and lots of long rallies. And so having... Yeah, ...for the singing of our national anthem. So tonight by the serving serenaders. We talked about the importance of serve receive here for the Jays. Wow, this time, or had Sickner sends it over Jezerowski with the up. They go to Gosh, and Gosh puts it on the floor. And again, we talked about her in the pregame. Deep on that to Jezerowski. Off the slide, Neiman. Jays get the up. Elman, great, fantastic play to keep that one alive, diving backward. Neiman, and puts it down. Just a single block on the pin. You need to get a little closer here. Stivers again on the serve. Floats that one to Jezerowski. Outside, Bailey blocked back and down. Sickner and Smith on that far pin. And now the Jays are Is key to defend her. Bailey. In in the back row, and that's an ace for Bailey. Bailey picks up her. Third. Can't cover you. Jerob on the service line. Down after it is Bailey Koberstein outside. Gosh, and puts it on the floor. Lindsey Gosh. Sickner tracks that one down. McNary block. First block of the match, and it's a set. Was Liam McNary got that set a little bit off the net, just not exactly where. Jerob, Sickner into the middle. Jerob dug up by Koberstein on the outside. Gosh, threw the block and down. Bird and Browning were there again. Serve again. Lindsey Gosh. And that one's out. So a service error. Gosh, her second. Marquette back up by three. Another float serve. This time Lauren Smith takes the first ball. She gets the return, gets it blocked. Bird will send it to Jerob, and Jerob sends it back row to Jezerowski. Lindsey Gosh, block. That is McNary on the pin. He's looking to tie this one up. Rao. That's going to have to be three ball to cross. Jays, Bird plays it on the first ball. They go to McNary. Tries to go line. Steer gets a hand on it. Sent across by Bailey. One hand save by Elman. Sent across out of bounds. No touch. Bit of an ankle turn or whatever she had. Bailey shanks that one. They go outside. Gosh. Up by Jansen, and we got somebody in the net for the Jays. Trying to hit high hands right now. She sees that she's got four hands in front of her. Autumn Bailey trying to do everything she can to get. Same look for the ball to go back to her, though, because she's got to be frustrated to the point where she wants to take 23 Jays. Deep on that and two deep. Neiman. Jarrett gets it to Sickner. Lauren Smith over the single block, but they come up with it. Barber and hits it into the net. Bailey Barber. Floats that one back row. Steer comes up with it. They go near pin. Barber up high hands. What a save by Bird. They go outside. McNary, yes! Give that one to Jess Bird as she made a fantastic save to keep that ball alive. Kate Elman directed it. People you can trust. We're the members of the Greater Omaha Chamber. Dedicated to our Down a little bit. They haven't figured out a way to slow down Megan Neiman as of yet. No, Neiman still just rocking away out there. Ten kills, zero. So her team can play it up. Rao in the back row. Elman gets the pass to Sickner. Near pin. Bird off high hand. Jezerowski, one hand save. They go to the outside to Bailey. Good play by Elman to get the up. Bird again. Back row. Rao with the up. Gosh, off high hands, Jansen with the save. Jess Bird off her back foot, Jezerowski again with the save. Block back and down. That was Bird and Browning, a sure. They are very atypical of her. Jansen, Koberstein to Bailey. Hellman gets the up, sends it back over, tipped across. Played first by Sickner, Bird. Jezerowski with the save. Again, Bailey, this time with the tip, and gets it to go down. Bailey looked like her. Unfortunately, at night, there's been more bad than good. Koberstein on the outside to Bailey. That one blocked by Sickner. Dug up. Sent over by Neiman. Catches the Jays' high hands. They go to Lauren Smith, and Smith gets the kill. Lauren Smith. Go along with those nine kills. Melanie Cherub and a service error. A tough service error. The Jays pick up their... Bailey. 
with that jump serve. Gets the pass to Sickner to McNary. Cross court dug up by Jezerowski. Hoberstein to Barber, and Evans down for the winner. So Marquette wins. We're your neighbors. Right down the street. Strengthens our regional economy. Support hardworking, homegrown businesses and make a local impact. Buy from someone you know. Jezerowski, the senior, to serve for Marquette. Hellman down after that. Sickner, they go to Browning, and that one caught the top of the tape, and I th think threw the timing of Marquette off, and it just went past. Hellman down after that. They go outside, Jess Bird block. Schnur and Gosh with a Strong play. Give Lauren Smith the ball if you get the pass. Bird going down after that. They go to Lauren Smith, off high hands, Doug. This time by Koberstein, sent across. Jansen with it. They go to Lauren Smith again. In the up by Marquette. And again, Autumn Bailey terminates. And that one's another error. That is her fifth service error of the night. It'll be Autumn Bailey. Again on the serve. Cherub, good pass. They go far pin. McNary, yes. Leah McNary picks up. Neiman let serve, it comes across, Smith plays it. Smith, and she is blocked. And that is Schnur and Neiman. Bird, good pass, they go to Smith. Dug up by Bailey, but they cannot get a second hit, so give Lauren Smith the kill, her 11th serve here for the Big East Championship. What would be Marquette's first, Elman, And that's an ace for Marquette, so Marquette, comes up with the ace, their fifth of the night. Brad Rule and your Savannah Smith. So they will accept the second place trophy. Certainly uh, disappointing the Jays came in as the preseason. Plays back there, keeping her team able to run their offense in system, and that's what made them lethal tonight offensively. Um, in that fourth set alone, they hit 310 as a team, hitting 258 as a total for the evening for Marquette, which is under their season average in the conference play. But getting three players hitting over 15 kills um, in this match tonight, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, and Elizabeth Koberstein and Brown. Absolutely, I mean, they've got a top 10 RPI rating, they've got an outstanding record. They're a very, very good volleyball team. They're ranked number 24th in the country right now. And just, I mean, just kind of came to a point in the season though, where teams typically peak, they, they, had, some, they had some challenges ahead of them. And so they know what they need to do in the postseason to take it the distance.